finally. Our neighbor had a tree on his property that he needed to take down and he said that we could use it and it was a big enough tree that we will be able to use it for the floor joists. So the guys are currently bringing logs over to the sawmill. I collected a bunch of branches for the goats because they love the fresh greens and there's a lot of poisonous uh, plants around us, so I can't really let them free range in the forest. So this is a good treat for them. Squirrely Dan, is that you? You found us. Bye. Welcome back <laughs> to this off-grid life. I'm getting sleepy. I'm just kidding. I'm wide awake. So. I want to talk about gifts. We've had a lot of gifts lately. Katie's mom, whenever she comes around, gives us a ton of gifts. A ton of gifts. In my opinion. And she also buys us gifts because she loves us. She brings us green chili from New Mexico. And so for our New Mexican viewers. Yes. I send us more green yeah, chili. Send us your Actually, green don't. chili. Actually we'll, we'll don't. We'll show a quick clip of how much green chili we have <laughs> in our bus. We, we, we love it. It's so good. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, talking about gifts, we've had quite a few lately. Um, we got some paddle boards, which is awesome. Probably show a clip of that, which is nice because we've been uh, going down to the lake when it's too hot to work. And uh, but a really big gift that my neighbor gave me was what I'm sitting on right now. We brought down a humong he brought down a humongous fur which is going to help us finish off our um, floor joists and, and some, honestly. There's so much board feet in these, in these uh, logs. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna see how quick I can blast out some boards. I'm getting pretty good at being efficient with my milling, um, but I don't have a lot of time and I have to be efficient at milling, so. Well, we don't get a lot, as you mentioned before, we don't get a lot of these large trees. No. Because yeah, we don't fall them, well, this one had to come down anyways, but we don't yeah. fall the trees, on the, they have to come down on their own, basically. Totally, we haven't cut down. <coughs> That's not true, we've cut down some trees, like we said in an earlier pre episode, we've cut down some trees because the house is going there, but other than that, everything that I have built into this house is wind blown down so yeah so the wind storms are scary but they are also rewarding yeah so i'll cut the chick chat and katie's gonna take video and we're gonna take we're gonna see how long it takes for me to cut a log roll it onto the deck and blast out however many boards i can get out of it yeah and so what we're working on for this one is the floor joist yeah or we have i don't know there's a million names for it it seems like they're, yeah, floor joists is the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> floor joists. Anyway, so yeah, we're working on the floor joists. They're two inch by 10 inch fur, which is like super strong. Um, typically floor joists are two by 12 SPF or spruce, pine, whatever. Um, but two, two inches by 10 inches is out of fur is way stronger than that, in my opinion leave a comment below if I'm completely wrong but when you see these boards you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about anyway meal time
1032. We'll see how many board feet I can rip out. Okay, yeah, 11.43, and there's seven beautiful two by tens to go with the 30 I have over there. So I'm getting, getting close to the end of milling these things, but holy smokes, it's a lot of work. It used to be fun. It will be fun again when I have a tractor one day. But I do not have a tractor today. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Good. 